might. It may well be. Z360. Cover. Zoe Stark advance. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. And welcome to After News Delight. So we got Ivy now and Zoe Stark in the uh, Queen of the Ring tournament uh, quarterfinal matchup. And we already learned that EO Sky uh, would be advancing earlier tonight as she beat uh, Natalia in this first round matchup. So um, Zoe Stark facing Ivy now. And, um, and uh, this was an interesting matchup. You know, both girls came from NXT last year. And uh, they get a chance to face each other. I don't think we've seen them at all since they've been on the main roster in the ring together. I'm trying to remember if they ever been in like a tag team. They might have been in one tag team match, but this is definitely part of the first singles matchup uh, for the both of them. So let's go over how this went, man. So Stark dropped down early. Uh, now put her in a submission hole with Stark uh, smoothly escaped. Now, um, Niall held up Stark before following through uh, with a vertical suplex. Stark threw a kick. It is uh, set up, uh, step up, step up Um Stark ended up on an apron and then clothesline now over the top rope. Stark performed a missile drop kick and covered now for a two count. Short time later, uh, Niall performed the top rope, bulled off for a near fall. Stark threw some kicks uh, that missed by Mal, and it looked like Stark sold the last one anyway. But then came right back and uh, picked up a two count. Stark showed frustration over not getting the pin. Stark went up top and was cut off by Niall. Uh, Stark self uh, stuffed a superplex and then slipped underneath uh, Niall and tripped her so that her face landed on uh, top of the turnbuckle. And then she hit that Z360 that scored the win. And that was all she wrote for Ivy Niall, who lost in a little bit over five minutes here in this match to Zoe Stark, who's going to move on and. Um, she will face the winner of the Liar Valkyria and Dakota Kai matchup that we're going to go over in the next video. So, good win for Zoe Stark. Um, Zoe Stark has been someone that's started to get lost in the roster a little bit, I think, um, ever since her match with Rhea Ripley. And that was the one thing that, and it happens because, you, like, you can't push everybody um, on the roster. But this is why, like, this is why I'm telling them, like, you know, make sure you keep Nia Jax. Uh, that's why I said that's the best move to make for Nia Jax is to make sure that build that you did with her last year looking like this, you know, villainous monster, you know, you keep her up and then have her go at the Bailey and actually get the title because you could be building up people and then they just, they lose their way. Like, I felt like Zoe Stark kind of lost her way after a good start to her rookie run. And then it's just kind of like she got to being lost in the shuffle. Um... You know, Ivy now has been doing more than her lately, but still neither one of them are real established in the women's division. And this is where Triple H is going to have to do a little better job of, like, kind of promoting them a little bit more. Um, putting them in some real good storylines. Um, and making people really care about them. Because that, that's the one thing that Shawn Michaels always does. He always puts the girls in really good storylines down at NXT. So, um, even if they're in, like, a low mid-carder storyline, they're still going to get some kind of you know, work done and make you care about the matches. So, um, that's the one thing that they got to work on with some of these girls like uh, Zoe Stark or Ivy now. But this is a good win for Zoe Stark to maybe, uh, shoot, even be a surprise and get to the next round after that. But I think Lyra Valkyria, who did win that match against Dakota Kai, probably gets past it. But let's talk about that match next. Give me your thoughts here about this match. Uh, give this video a like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching this one. After news, the like.